Set up right. There we go. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the video. And today, I'm ditching this old bag for a brand new, never open, still in the plastic bag. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch all my discs over. I haven't made a video about what I throw, like all my discs and stuff, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to come out with separate videos for whichever disc deserves its own review. And uh, we're going to check this out. So right now, this bag is wore out completely. As you can tell, I'm using this as like a putter pouch. I have five of them in here. They're, this is not a putter pouch at all. This one does. It has a putter pouch. Um, I thought I when I originally bought this one, I thought this was the adventure bag, but this is the adventure bag. And I don't know which one this one is. It was like $30, super cheap. I, I got it when I got back into disc golf because I played a long time. And I just kind of got out of it. Uh, I can tell that story later on. It's, it's pretty, it's an emotional story of why I stopped playing for a while. Uh, very sad story, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably do that one next. This video will be way too long if I went through all that, so. Yep, yeah, here's all my putters. Um, you gotta have a pole cat. I got this signed by Philo Brathwaite in Jonesboro at the Jonesboro Open this past year. Kitty, stop messing with my, stop messing with my tripod. Alright, so that pole cat is signed by Philo. I got uh, this really old uh, AVR. I don't know. I found it. Um, didn't have a name or anything on it. Uh, so I just made it my own. It's a pretty good putter. It's nothing special. It's just an AVR. I got a Colt, a DX. This is also a DX. Um, this is pretty beat in, but it's still, it's still really good because... Even though the DX putters get beat in, this one's pretty beat in too, uh, they, uh, they still putt good. I don't really use them as throwing putters. I'll show you my throwing putters in just a second. This is a decent throwing putter. Uh, I used to use it as like a primary putter and like a primary throwing putter. So I kind of use it as both. But I got this recently. It is a Halo Arrow. And uh, it's already scratched up and got some scuffs on it, but it's so worth it. Because I got this thinking, you know, I'm going to hit a lot of throw-ins. And uh, that's exactly what I did. I've had it maybe two weeks, and I've hit a 150-foot putt. Uh, not even a jump putt, just a regular, you know, just a little toss. And this thing went in, and um, I made some... Easy circle two putts. My putting game has gotten so much better since I got this desk specifically. And that's that and I use this as a throwing putter too. More like an upshot disc, but I have plenty of upshot discs. My first one is the Bradley Williams uh, R Pro Pig. This is great, overstable, nice. Then for Next one is a Toro. I got this also. It'll say Disc Golf Pro Tour. Um, just like my just like my pole cat. Uh, has the same stamp on it. The pig and the Toro fly extremely similar. This is more of a star plastic. This is a star Toro. But this is like a really sticky, I guess you could call it, uh, pig. Because it sticks. So if I want the same shot as a, a pig, but I want some skip for like a little upshot, um, then a Toro definitely gets some skip. This one I'm giving away, it's a really, really, really extremely beaten Wombat. I'd use that on very specific things. And uh, when I order this, the Halo Star Arrow, I had to replace my Star Mako with a uh, Halo Star Mako. And this thing is totally different from the regular 
star make go because those you can flip over super easily. You have to have the perfect speed. I'm sure you guys know if you throw the star Makos. Yeah, that thing you can crank on as hard as you want. I haven't flipped it over yet, and I can throw like four or 450. So I don't think it's going to happen. I got a Rock 3. This thing is, you know, what can you say about it? It's great. It's reliable as shit. T-Berg, gotta have a T-Berg. It's gross, bright-ass pink. Thanks, Amazon. This I just put in there recently. A Roadrunner. This thing, uh, I can throw bombs with this thing. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker because this is, this is not about, not really about my disc. Um, I'm gonna have more videos on, you know, I'm gonna do a series on how to throw a specific disc. I only throw Innova though, so if you, you want to see some other discs that aren't Innova, um, then I will I will try to get it and, and get it done. But Valkyrie, one of my favorite, well, it's really pretty. It's one of my, the light's messing me up. It's one of the prettiest, well, not, yeah, well, besides the Halos. In the Champion Plastic, this is like one of the prettiest ones I got. It's, it's supposed to be a stable driver, but this thing's so overstable. I've had it for a while. This, I just won at League. This is a double stamped Thunderbird. I've only threw I've only thrown it like once or twice. It is extremely reliable. It's I wasn't sure if it was gonna have a spot in my bag because for shots that you would use one of these for, I mainly use my T-Bird for. But this one has, is a little bit sharper on the edge and gets a little bit more skip. So that's definitely that's definitely one that I'll be using a lot. This one I found recently. It's a beast. I used to have a DX beast that was completely beat in and unflyable or whatever. One of my favorites, the Mamba. Uh, you know, I don't throw understable discs because I don't have the arm for it I definitely do but when it comes to this these kinds of discs like the really understable it's because I don't throw forehand I it's not that I can't I, I just don't want to because I suck at them so I have a lot of understable discs and it allows me to throw huge bombs a classic star wraith what can you say about it you already know if you if you have one they're great I got a Star Destroyer signed by Ricky Wysocki. For some reason it flies, even though it's very similar to the Wraith, it flies completely different. Uh, this one, a turn. Again, it's just a good neutral flying straight. Very glidey uh, driver. For some reason I can't seem to throw it on a decent height. Deadless, deadless, whatever you call it. This is one of my favorite drivers. Um, when I walk up to like a five, six hundred foot hole, eight hundred feet, whatever, I know I, I throw this the exact same way every time, and I'm gonna get some big distance. Um, I did have a a G Star Shrike, and now I replaced it with an even heavier, harder to throw Shrike. But I've been getting huge distance with this thing. It is. Not a problem. I bought this already beat in and used. It's a Blizzard Boss. And it is so overstable. It says negative one on the turn, but you really don't get much turn out of it. And for my last one is my Corvette. This thing does not fly uh, when you... Dang, this has this almost has a hole in it. What happened? I don't remember this happening. I, there's like it's almost all the way through. This might retire soon. It's not even that old, but uh, this doesn't fly like the numbers say. Which I've heard someone say that that was the thing with Corvettes. Not none of them fly the same. So basically, I was cramming 23 discs into a bag that holds 15 with I thought this was a putter pouch once I put a couple putters in there I realized that it's not uh, this was like my first like real bag too and I got some minis in here 
I got Play It Again Sports. If you know, uh, if you ever been to Jonesboro, you know Play It Again. They were doing a thing where if you bought a disc, you get a mini. Or if you, for every $20 you spent, which is basically each disc, uh, they gave you a free one during the Jonesboro Open. And then I got a 2023 Jonesboro Open, and it's, it's hard to see. I'll get some close-ups of them. Uh, but this is a... The stamp's kind of hard to see, but it's like a rainbow stamp of the 2023 Jonesboro Open. So this bag, it's ripping right here. See, so I can put my finger through the little thing. The zipper still works, surprisingly. The bottom's getting worn out. I'm giving it to my nephew. I'm going to fill it with some DX discs. I'm going to buy him some new ones because he likes to come play with me. And now, to open up this thing. So this one holds 25. I have 23. I can add a couple more. Can't wait. There's always more to add. But let's see how this thing is. Also got... I got this off a of 1010 disc. I also got a 1010 disc uh, like microfiber towel. I think it's microfiber. Haven't opened it yet. Let's see. Yeah, it's it'll it'll clean the disc off and stuff. That's pretty big. I didn't know it was gonna be that big. Has a little clamp on it, so I can clamp it right here. Now I have something to clean some discs off with because it's been raining a lot. Let me put this together real quick with like the insert so I know exactly what's going on. So because I I hate this part with new bags. Let me just figure some stuff out. Okay, I guess this is the putter pouch. I don't know anything about this bag. You don't need to see my face no more. So I guess this is the putter pouch. I don't know how many putters it's going to fit, but. I'm going to fit in my arrow first, because that's the biggest one. Oh yeah, that, that fits in there perfect. Perfect. I'm going to throw my other ones in here. See how many it can hold. I usually like to put these five uh, up in the top pouch part. Ooh. Okay. So this might fit five comfortably. If so, that would be great. All right, it's getting a little bit tight. Maybe I can put it up front. Yeah, five right there. Perfectly in there. I'm happy with that. Let me see if it zips up. Oh yeah, it zips up perfectly. See, butter's right there, can't even tell. I'm trying to figure out the main compartment. I guess it's right here. Yeah, here we go. All right, so this is the main compartment right here. Um, Oh, so I guess all you do is flip this little thing down. There's like a little flap. Uh, with this one, this one was confusing. Uh, good for like a first bag, but like the little insert thing to like get it shape. So there we go. There's there's the shape of it and all that. Um, you know, to like get the shape was super, super weird. It confused the hell out of me. And there's a little front pocket right here. I'm just going to throw it in and throw my minis in there. That seems like they would fall out though, cause like, you can see them right there. So I'm gonna be careful with that. And uh, yeah, let's um, let's load this thing up with some discs. And then I'll show you the final product. Oh, this clamp, this has a little vel Velcro thing right here. Uh, I didn't even, I didn't even like stick it right there, it just did it on its own, so that's pretty convenient. Let's get some, uh, let's get this thing loaded up. So usually I go from like the drivers right here, you know, I go drivers all the way to putters, we'll throw in putters I guess. And I have all my desks in order from speed, and then from the speed I have it from to uh, stability and all that. 
my Mako. I have three discs left and it's looking kind of tight up in here. It's like this much more room. I guess that's three discs. I might not be able to add any more to my bag unless you just kind of mess with it, stretch it around and stuff. I think it'll work. But yeah, yeah. I think I could fit another one or two. Oh, I don't know. I think five putters up top, maybe a little bit excessive but yeah there we go that's looking good <clears throat> i really don't think i need to add anything else i'm pretty good with what i got yeah there's room see i don't i don't think i need to add anything else because with my other bag i couldn't even fit my finger in between a disc to grab it this looks like it comes out perfectly goes back in perfectly i'm happy with that that's awesome then you just unstick this and then zip it back up. That is, this is cool. I like this. This, and with the, with this, it just looks cool, you know. Uh, yeah, I definitely like this a lot. Let me see how it is with like, uh, when you put it on. I don't think I need to adjust the, well, actually, yeah. I might need to adjust the uh, length, but yeah, that's super comfortable. My other one was, uh, well, once the once I adjust the straps, it'll be more comfortable. But with my other bag, my back got so sweaty. This has some really good padding on the back. So hopefully this will keep it, keep me from sweating. But in 100 plus degree weather, there's nothing you can do about it. It's so unbearably hot. I can't even go play. Like, that's how hot it is. It's stupid hot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll get some close-ups of this thing. And pretty soon I'll be doing videos of uh, all these discs. Well, not all of them. Most of them. Do reviews. I'm going to have make a... Uh, I'm going to have a series on each disc. I might... I don't know if I'm going to put them through... Uh, like two separate videos but if I do there's gonna be one on how to throw each disc like uh, what's the best way like if you get a new disc and it's one of mine and you can watch my video you want to know how it flies a lot of people don't really do that too much they do it on reviews a little bit but like I want to go in depth like uh, how to throw specific discs and stuff because sometimes I can't find that Especially like certain plastics like I tried to look up some for the Mako 3 uh, for the Halo couldn't find one uh, So yeah, that's what I'm gonna start doing. Hope you guys dig it and uh, Yeah, here's like some Pretty shots of this. I don't know. See ya